Okay, good morning. Uh, today I'm showing you the all the apple trees and plants that I've propagated uh, from seed. I have it under this uh, homemade greenhouse that I made. Um, it has hinges on the back so I can lift it up, uh, which makes it nice for watering. Um, but in the front here, I just have some raspberry canes that I just tore out of the ground, put it in a pot, and they grew. Um, this is an apple tree, and this is, let's see here, <clears throat> this one in front is a plum tree. I don't know how well it's going to do. Another raspberry. Um, I have some Swiss chard and spinach in these cone containers, um, and I'm not too sure on how I feel about these uh, as growing tree seeds, as apple seeds. Um, this is a Japanese maple from a seed. So here we have uh, some apple trees. Um, this one right here, this is its second year. Um, and it, the first year I guess it didn't grow very much, but the second year it's growing about the same size as everything in the back there. Um, this one right here is a plum tree that's doing pretty good. Um, got a couple more plums right here. So most of these big ones are apple trees and what I'll do is I'll put the apple seeds in a paper um, towel. I'll soak it a little bit um, and put that in a Ziploc bag in the fridge for about a month, month and a half. Um, and then put those seeds directly into these containers. Um, all these ones in the back were just straight compost and that seemed to do just fine. Um, this was kind of a mix in the front. <clears throat> um, but I would say these trees are probably oh, three or four, well probably three months old. So I'm assuming they get a maximum of about that high. So it's about six inches, seven inches. Um, and they, it works pretty good. Um, just depending on how well you can transplant them without um, breaking the roots or disturbing the roots too much, uh, then they should do better. Um, but that's all of that. So then it, this used to be an aquaponic system, but that's too much work. So I decided just to make it into a temporary greenhouse. Um, over here, I have a bunch of hardwood blueberry cuttings and some other random cuttings. If you can see, <clears throat> that's probably a bad one. But like right here, if you notice, all of them are leafing out right now. So in Seattle, this is these are all cut from. Uh, I took the cuttings in like late January because um, you want buds on there but you don't want it to be leafing out and the plant to be actually active. Um, so I took a bunch of those. So hopefully this summer I'll be able to see if there's any roots um, growing from those. So that's it today. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Talk to you later.